All right, everyone, and welcome to Elder Scrolls Online Beta. I think it's by now, like, this is their fourth event, and obviously, I got a little, I got around to it a little late. I did play it last, or the last beta, but it's now open, so everyone can make videos and stuff, so there's no embargoes and non-disclosure things anymore. But anyway... A uh, little bit of background behind the Elder Scrolls thing for me is I've played the fourth Oblivion and obviously Skyrim, which is the fifth one. And now I'm going to be playing a little bit of the online part of it, which is supposedly like Skyrim, except play with other people. MMO. Get it? But yeah. Anyway, I already created my character, so I'll just show you what I am, obviously. Ebonheart Pact, Nord class, I'll be playing as a Dragon Knight, and obviously if you wanted to go into major details, you could look at that. But if you're going to watch other people, this is what I'm going to be playing on. I am ultra settings pretty much everything, and yeah. So let's get started. So let's go... I know they were having a little bit of issues with the create thingy, but anyway, let's create our character and John Law on YouTube. Anyway, so I hope you guys are enjoying this beta too. Um, I'm not gonna like. This isn't a walkthrough per se, but it's just more of a first impressions kind of thing. So, we're starting off fresh again. And I expect everything to be wiped by the time the full game comes out in April. So that's no big deal. I just wanted to play a little bit. And before we do that, I want to make sh If there are any subtitles... I want it on and master volume we're gonna turn that up a little bit so everything over here I'll just show you what's going on health bars And pretty much, I didn't even check this until then, but that's okay. Just wanted to... Alright, let's go. This is currently only on PC, but I know it'll be coming out to next-gen platforms or Xbox One, PlayStation 4 out in June, like two months. From two months after the PC launch. Oh. Slowly. Take a few moments to... Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future. Both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You, you must rescue me. And I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect me. Whoa, what the... But anyway, um... You there! Even though this is a uh, not really a walkthrough, I'm still just gonna keep quiet during the cutscene so you guys can enjoy it as much as I do. And the settings are a little bit low, so let's. Just... That's fine. But so far, it feels pretty good. Um, Quickly, generally, when I'm played. Uh, Elder Scrolls games. I usually play with a controller because there are weapons in the forge. It wasn't online. <laughs> it wasn't an MMO. But, but anyway, if you hear a lot of clicking, it's because I usually have a mechanical keyboard, so I didn't bother changing it around. Something to defend yourself from the rats. So when I played, I usually used a bow, so it's going to try something different this time. Huh. 
not really a fan of mages, so we're just gonna try a sword and shield, it's typical standard stuff now. So you guys know, if you've been following my channel for a while, I do play a lot of RPG type games and MMOs, for the most part. Okay, so this is, if you're new to RPG games, I'll try to explain things as I go. This is your, your character, your armor, obviously upgrade throughout the game and inventory. There we go, let's go. So I don't know how much of this I'll be recording, but I just wanted to give you like a quick taste in case you didn't get to play it at all. Um, by now I'm pretty sure you have since this is the fourth event. Open, oh. Oh my god. Fight the skeletal warrior. Alright. Where did he go? Where did he go, actually? Can't go that way. Where are you? He just like popped up out of nowhere. But yeah, as there we go. Do not slow vestige. With the passing of time, any indecision becomes decision. Not used to playing this on key with a keyboard and mouse, but I'll get used to it. And yeah, let's, let's go on. I might have to do some key rebindings in a bit, but that's okay. We should be fine. So I'll probably make this first part longer than usual, like my average 15 minute video. I'm gonna make it like, run away. Oh, fight the archer. I guess I'm assuming this is like a tutorial. No big deal. Your level increased. Okay. Let's see. Since we're gonna be a swordsman, I'm assuming health and stamina. Oh, new title. We only get one point now. It's fine. Typical Skyrim. Talk to her. Hello. You've got more meat on your bones Whoa. than most of these poor bastards. And I see you've armed yourself. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. What? Who told you to find me? The Prophet. He spoke to you? What did he say? Ha. Huh. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That block your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. Eh, do I really want to talk to her? Not really. But he's whatever. A strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. Past, future. If he told you to find me, he must have had a very good reason. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the Clearly. most <laughs> miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. We need to make our way through the Ashen Mines to get to the enclosure where the Prophet's being held. It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called sentinels. We won't stand. Enter the mines. All right. So if you're new to Skyrim or haven't played any Elder Scrolls games in the past, even though it's quite old now, and the little map thingy on top shows you your objectives. 
it's kind of like a compass, except you see um, the little l emblems on the top. That's like what you could do. So this is going to be like an educational thing, even though I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching this has played it already. Courage, Estage. But that's okay. Confidence is a beast that grows two heads. Run away. Each that is cut off. And the green bar is your stamina bar. Do not lose heart, Vestige. You are close now. What the? Reach the tower. Well played, friend. Our case beard, you are good in a fight. What are you doing, lady? Okay, let's go. So I'm not sure when we can start we made it. talking to or interacting with other people because if you guys have this too, then maybe we can all play together. So that's always a good thing. And destroy the cold harbor. That was not. So I'm assuming they want us to grind a little bit. Oh, there are the other people. Interesting. So I'll get this in a little bit. Um, so our main objective right now is destroy a cold harbor, which I assume is all the way at the top or above this area and obviously Skyrim or Elder Scrolls games they're just absolutely beautiful <laughs> Whoa! Where are we? Quickly. Reach the prophet's, blinded, cell. Get to the prophet's cell. Okay. Let's see, um, we don't have anything right now, so we'll just equip this. And the staff is the same as the sword, so we're just gonna keep that right now. This is worse. We don't have anything else in our armor, so let's continue on. Reach the prophet's cell. It's this way. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Game again. Target practice. We got some gloves or guards. So I do want to armor up a little bit, just in case things get crazy. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so we go this way. Fall damage is a thing, but we got this. Okay. Here we go. These are not it. Barrel shiv turbans. Interesting. Okay. Whoa. Reached a profit. I'm assuming it's at the top somewhere. Okay. So we gotta go back this way probably go up oh my god we're getting chased there we go so we have 11 gold right now and we have to reach we have to talk to her again we'll never get in this way damn it destroying the sentinel must have triggered these wards we'll need to find another way in maybe cadwell cadwell is the oldest of the soul shriven after years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left him. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. Alright, let's find him. Talk to... Fall damage! Oh my god. I keep forgetting that happened. That's 
That's him? He looks like... Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely what day the... for it. That voice Sir, acting. Yeah, well, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scene. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer gorus and jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. I don't even know what that means. she's to rescue the prophet okay. to save us all from eternal torment. All right, let's go. So he said follow the river. Wow, this just looks so beautiful. The water looks real. Air yeah, bush. Okay. Come get some more, you skeeving hawkers. We don't have any potions, do we? No. Okay. So we gotta go this way. Now we can go into the undercroft. So we completed the first section. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and if you are, let me know what if you want to play sometime, and if you can, give this video a like. It really does help me out, and possibly a favorite too if you're feeling generous. So let's go this way. Oh! Skeletal Archer. Yes, don't attack me. Attack her. Traps. Nailed it. Let's see, do we have an ex? Yeah, okay. Our experience bars over there. Um. Uh, uh, okay. Oh my god. Empty. I wonder if you. Never mind. I had a thought that other people would take your stuff. But that's okay. Jump! So let's look over here. Everything seems to be empty. You do. Alright, let's just go up. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Charge! Got to talk to her again. Okay. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tanrio. I'm not going with you. Bad news is that I have to do it. Okay. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The prophet there are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Shiny Once it's done, thingy. get moving. The prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Okay. Usually in uh, Skyrim, you really didn't need the crouch button much, except if you were playing on a harder difficulty. Okay, so that's the south one. The north one is over there. Let's go around just in case. <laughs> there we go. Observe the exchange. I give myself that the prophet might be free! That's so sad. Whoa! 
Hello. You look strange. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. Dera sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice was never possible. But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that long... That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste Hey, you know what the funny thing is? If you lost your name, you could be whoever you want. The anchors are daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cove. Alright, so where are we headed? Enter Anchor Mooring. I have no idea where that is. I assume it's all the way back here. This game is probably the best looking game so far. <laughs> Let's go. For some reason, the only thing that I've been no whoa. noticing is you have to double tap the E button a couple of times for it to work. The sometimes it does. Sometimes. How amusing! And yet, so very sad. Boss fight? So I'm pretty sure. Come, I will protect you. Charge! Oh my god. Anchor Guardian. Ugh. There has to be another way to fight her. There's no way you just slash her a million times, is there? What are you. Are you just gonna stand there? Okay, so he just heals you while you do that, so. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to... Too bad he doesn't follow you. I was going to say, uh, make him follow you while you get up close and attack. Or if his range is so far, then I guess it really doesn't even matter. Yeah, I can see my health bar just going up. So he's just like healing me over here. So this isn't a hard battle at all. Easiest boss battle ever. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to shard of ethereal. I'm ready. Okay, collect the sky word. Sky shard. Okay. Move upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. Where? There, quickly. Collect the sky is it over here? Sky shards are scattered across the lands of Tamriel. For every three sky shards, you will gain an extra skill point. Okay. It is time. First, you must activate the anchor. I can sense the dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual that will pry open the jaws of oblivion and allow us to escape. There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not! I will find you again when the time is right. Now go! Activate- Bye! Oh, we have to activate the anchors again. Okay. Great Akator! Whoa! Dragon of time! Put Your it. children are lost! The fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Woo! -hoo. I like how the portal is on the ceiling, not like just, boom, a portal pops up right on the top of the stairs like most games do. 
small details. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this series, just uh, let me know if you want to see more. Otherwise, I just assume you guys are playing this yourself. <laughs> But yeah, if I knew how to add friends, 